You are watching How to Cake It. I'm Yolanda, <laughs> under here somewhere. Glasses. And this week, I made myself a birthday cake. That's not sad. I'm taking myself a giant ice cream sundae. Birthday. A lot is going on this week. I'm having a camp cake flash sale. Woo. Orhan, insert a flash. A good one. For more information on that sale, click the link in the description below. For We're leaving in every single thing I said this week because it's my birthday. We have to make the episode 40 minutes long. <laughs> it's like TV. You, you guys know what TV is. <laughs> For my giant ice cream sundae birthday cake, I baked 10 pounds of cake total. Let's start off by building the bowl. It wasn't just any bowl. This is a big birthday and I want a big Sunday. I cut my round cake into two layers and I cut my bowl cake into three layers. Sir Squeeze better do his job right today because this cake is for me. So I had him simple syrup all of the layers. I decided to have a Neapolitan ice cream sundae. And what I'm gonna do is enhance some of my, enhance, yes. It's because I'm more mature now. So I'm going to enhance my buttercream so that I can fill my bowl cake while I listen to the lovely Wu-Tang Clan. <laughs> I'm only gonna talk like this from now on because <laughs> I'm an adult now. We'll have to erase the audio then. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's too quiet. <laughs> is it quiet or is it like a calm maturity? It's just quiet. Okay. <laughs> I enhanced my buttercream with a plethora of Flavors. I flavored half of it with a vanilla bean, which is so lovely and smells so good. Jeremy had a lot of questions about a vanilla bean. A lot. I hope I answered them. Then I chopped some strawberries, mainly the red part. So I wanted to remove sort of that white part inside. I have nothing against it, but it's not colorful and it's not as flavorful. I folded them into my Italian meringue buttercream along with a little bit of pink food coloring. For my chocolate buttercream, I added mini chocolate chips. Time to fill my bowl cake, alternating the buttercream. I'm gonna start building my Super Bowl upside down. I add the board, then I add the bowl cake, which is now cut in three layers. So later when I flip it, I'll have support. If you liked it, then you should have put a board in it. That doesn't work. <laughs> It's more like, if you wanted to stand up, then you should put a board in it. <laughs> I wanted to give my bowl a little bit of detail, so I added some indents to the side. I used a circle cutter to help me mark it and a small serrated knife to cut out eight indents evenly around the bowl. Now I need to crumb coat this cake. I feel like it's my birthday and I want other people to dance for me. I want showgirls. I want like rockets. I want 40 rockets with cakes on their heads kicking. Thank you, Orhan. Good luck, Orhan. You're gonna have a lot of fun this weekend. Oh my God, it's gonna be amazing. Woo! Just look at them. This cake needs some dowels to support it before I flip it over. I'm gonna insert a few dowels into the cake in a circle formation. That way when we flip it, there'll be support because I'm gonna be adding a lot of ice cream. Can we have dancing dowels, Orhan? It's my birthday, I'm gonna ask for everything I want. I want some dancing dowels. They're my support group, get it? And now I'm gonna ice the cake again with my vanilla buttercream. Icing this cake is more difficult than it looks because I've gotta get buttercream into all the little indents that I carved earlier. If you have a cake enthusiast in your life who also has a birthday coming up like me, we have some great sprinkle themed wrapping paper, cards, mini cards at howtocakeit.com so you can wrap up their cake gifts in cake paper. And it will be a cake-tastic birthday. <laughs> Enthusiast, did you hear that? Yes, I did. I've used Enhance, Plethora, and Enthusiast. This is the new me. <laughs> I need some ice cream to put in this Super Bowl. So I also baked vanilla cake that I'm gonna turn into ice cream scoops. 
I used some half sphere silicone molds to bake a bunch of half sphere cakes in different colors. I quickly leveled off the hump within the silicone molds and now they're all out of the mold. Now it's time to glue two spheres together to create a scoop of ice cream. I'm actually gonna glue them together with chocolate because I really wanna make sure they stay together as an ice cream scoop. I don't like when my ice cream falls apart. So for the vanilla ice cream scoops, I've used a bit of white chocolate. For the strawberry, I used a bit of pink chocolate. And for the chocolate, I used chocolate chocolate. You know that chocolate chocolate, right? Chocolate, that's chocolate. <laughs> and I have to, once again, call on Sir Squeeze. Sir Squeeze, this cute. princess queen needs you. Now it is time to crumb coat all 12 ice cream scoops. Ooh. Footage. I have to chill all these ice cream scoops now. So, rockets. This is amazing. This is the best birthday ever. I have to ice my ice cream scoops one more time. And I used my invention. I iced them, I used a small spatula, and then I used a little piece of acetate to smooth them, because I wanted them to look scooped, not iced. I understand. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wanted them to look scooped. I need to ice all 12 ice cream soups. Soups? Ice cream soups. I can't stand when my ice cream melts. I have a thing about it. I get so mad. If I'm eating ice cream in heat, I, I eat it so quickly. Cause I'm like, don't you dare, don't you dare. I didn't, I don't want a milkshake. I want ice cream. I get really upset. Yeah, I can see that. Really upset. Like it's one of my biggest pet peeves, melted ice cream. It's my birthday, so I decided to make a pink bowl. I roll out my pink fondant to be an eighth of an inch thick, and then I use a French rolling pin to pick it up and drape it. Now I smooth the fondant all over my cake using my hands and my fondant smoother. However, air will get trapped in the indents naturally. So you wanna have a straight pin handy to help release it. Just gently press your pin into the fondant and then guide the air out with your fingertips. Now if this giant sundae cake is too much for you to handle, we are making sundae cupcakes at Camp Cake and Taco Cakes. Camp Cake is a live stream baking event where I bake in this kitchen and you bake at home in yours. We do everything together step by step. I am rolling back the price of Camp Cake to $19.99 but for 48 hours only. The bowl is now fully covered and smooth and I need to trim it just a little bit higher than the cake so when I flip it over there's a bit of a lip. Do you know what it's time for? Ooh, it's better since you... That was amazing. Yeah. I've been practicing. Yeah, no, it's better. So now my super bowl is right side up and ready for ice cream. Before adding my scoops, I wanna make sure this bowl can really handle them. So I am going to hammer in a sharpened dowel right down the center of the bowl into the cake board at its base, and this will help it stop wobbling because there's gonna be a lot of ice cream, and I don't like my ice cream on the floor. I'm going to arrange the scoops first in a circle at the top of the bowl. And to make them fit perfectly, I'm just having a set of circle cutters on hand. So if I need to trim away any cake so that they can all fit in there nicely, I will do it as I see fit. Well then. I will do that as I see fit. Yolanda, you really are more mature. I know, something happened. There we go. <laughs> in other news, you're not. <laughs> now that my first Six scoops are laid around the perimeter of the bowl. I need to just fill in the space that's in the center. I don't want any fallen ice cream of any kind. I use a circle cutter to trim the scoop down so that it will fit right in the center and support the next layer of ice cream. It's like an ice cream puzzle. You're like fitting them together. I like this. Yes, I like that analogy. Well played. I need to add the little edges at the end of my scoop. What I'm doing is taking extra buttercream in all three flavors and using a small spatula to just, what, how did I even do it? Like I tapped it on the edge. I just added a ring of buttercream that just looks sort of ruffled and natural along the edge of each scoop in the bowl, doing one flavor at a time. 
Now I need to add three more scoops on top, one of each, chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. And finally, the crowning glory is a final scoop of vanilla. Cake rules everything around me. Cream gets the layers. Spread it, spread it around, y'all. Oh, we're doing good. We're really good. Guys, sorry, we've gone off track a lot in this episode, but it's my birthday. If you two love wrapping, and cake teas. This is the official t-shirt this month for the Cake Tea Club. Let's sing for them, Jocelyn. I think we just did it, though. <laughs> what do you like on a Sunday? Chocolate sauce. Yes! I mean, a really simple chocolate sauce in the microwave with chocolate, butter, and then a little bit of corn syrup, which gives it a bit of shine. Just melt it all together until it's completely smooth, and then I don't want it to be too hot, because it's buttercream, it melts. I don't like melted buttercream either. <laughs> Once the chocolate sauce was smooth and melted, but not hot, I poured it onto my sundae. And you wanna know something? I even let the sauce drip onto the outside of my bowl. What? Because I, Jocelyn, am so mature. I understand that all things can't be controlled. Oh, wow. Do you understand? <laughs> Life, how to cake it episodes, chocolate sauce. You have to just go with it. You know what else is on a Sunday? Well, what I like on a Sunday, I like chocolate shavings. So I'm gonna make some with a vegetable peeler. Haven't seen that on hat. Oh no, you have. Carrot cake. Vegetable peelers were originally called chocolate peelers. And then people started using them on like carrots and potatoes and somewhere along the way, the name was changed. I have my chocolate shavings. They're ready, they're peeled. I'm going to sprinkle them onto my chocolate sauce before it's set. This Sunday is almost ready and I'm getting really excited, but it needs two more things. Can you guess what they are, Jocelyn? Definitely a cherry. Good for you. And sprinkles. Oh, no, the shavings are the sprinkles, okay? Listen, what would you rest the cherry on? Oh, whipped cream. Thank you. So, for my whipped cream, I'm using Italian meringue buttercream, absolutely plain, no vanilla bean in it. I want it to look like whipped cream. I've put it in a piping bag that I fitted with a star tip and piped a rosette. And then, finally, every Sunday needs a cherry on top. I made my cherry out of red fondant that I stiffened with a bit of CMC, and I'm actually making it bright red because I want it to be like a maraschino cherry, which I don't actually like, but that's what I think of when I think of a Sunday. Then it led Jeremy and I down the path of how maraschino cherries are made. And I wish I could run back off that path. <laughs> Do not Google how maraschino cherries are made. Just buy fresh cherries that came off a tree. Once the cherry was assembled, I brushed on a little bit of piping gel with some red food coloring mixed in to make it really, you know, really maraschino-y. And I placed it on top of my sundae. You know what I'm calling this, right? It, this is like a never before heard of thing. You ready? Because the bowl is so big, it's my, why do I always get the broken one? Oh, okay, ready? Yep. It's my Super Bowl Sunday! Woo! This will always be something I look back on fondly. <laughs> so when I'm an 80 year old woman, who's even more mature and sophisticated. <laughs> I'll look back at this 40 year old birthday and think, yes. Oh, happy birthday, y'all. This is the last one. If you want more ice cream themed cakes, we have a whole playlist right here. We don't. <laughs> okay. Yes, you do. Right here. <laughs> Why is it not working? <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> what? what happened? I thought it was a bug. I thought it was a green metallic bug. It was just a confetti. <laughs> You know what else I don't like? I don't like melted ice cream, and I don't like bugs. Are, is this a joke? 
Did you do this on no, purpose? I did. You just, oh, there. Oh. oh. <laughs> Was that on the right angle? If you want more giant food cakes, and finally, if you want to subscribe, which I'm sure you do, especially after this episode. <laughs> I just snorted. <laughs>